गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन सो गाइज इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव कवर टिल दिस लिनक्स बेसिक कमांड इन डेफ एंड फ्रॉम टूडे ऑनवर्ड्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस मैनेजिंग फाइल सिस्टम एंड पार्टीशन ओके मैनेजिंग पार्टीशन एंड फाइल सिस्टम गाइज ओके सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन शुड कम इन योर माइंड दैट वट इज अ पार्टीशन ओके and uh, then we'll see what is disk partitioning criteria right uh, how you can identify your different types of disk will be there basically okay and uh, this is the most important right uh, you need to understand what is a file system types of file system and mountings are there so basically in mountings also there are two types of mounting will be there permanent and temporary mounting will be there what all configuration files are involved while you are doing mounting right uh where and all your uh, mount points uh, get saved okay before making it to permanent mounting so everything we are going to see uh before doing the practical uh we need to go through this these topics one by one so very simple you can say if you want to make a bigger hall uh, partition into multiple rooms okay or you can say yeah. if you want to divide a bigger area into a smaller area that is what called partition right when you have a yes, big yes. area uh, you have 1000 square feet and you want to divide it to in a very 100 100 square feet right then you can do a partition means you are basically you are dividing or you are splitting the bigger area into a smaller area that's it correct or you are making a partition of that bigger area into multiple areas right that is what we can do it but in normal uh, Uh, in term of linux operating system partition only we talk guys when you talk about the volume part right so volume means what so volume is basically it's your disk okay so whenever or your storage okay so there are two types of volumes are there that is also there okay or the i would say basically it comes under storage right so there are two types of storages are there one is object storage is there one is block storage is there this is not part of aws okay this is this is in general also if you wanted to know what is a object storage or what is a block storage okay so basically friends uh, to join my live online classes uh, just go to google and type continuous or contiguous you can uh, tell this one set up blocks okay why i am telling this one so when you run this command okay f disk hyphen l right so here you are able to see this is basically it's what what it's written here sector right correct it's telling sector right here if i o disk disk uh, size is there this is your boot right this is the sector right basically this is the id and the size so when you are going for uh partitioning your raw disk right at that time you will come to know how many blocks are there so every block has some basically address every block has some volume okay some uh, disk some suppose that block is consisting of some gbs okay or some mbs it's not in gbs but that is of your basically bytes and bits will be there guys okay so every block has a meaning over here so this is why i am telling you in other terms also if you wanted to define partition then partition is a contiguous set of blocks on a drive that are treated as an independent disk right and a partition table is an index that relates section of hard drive to partition now the point here is that the next question here is that why we do partitioning why we do multiple partitions why we do see this is this partitioning is different but the next question is coming over here is that why we do multiple partitions so we can utilize a space uh, equally right correct okay so it's very simple and easy guys uh, if i am telling you take this 100 gb and use it for your slash data directory right so 
if suppose if this disk is go going to be crashed okay or this partition okay first of all first thing every anything what you are going to get is basically a disk okay partition is not done yet okay whenever you are going to get something raw it should be in the form of a disk see here if you go just open this setting so if i am attaching a new disk okay so suppose i have attached here uh, this is the leave this one so the old this one is there okay yeah so you can see here clearly that see here i have attached a new disk of a scsi disk that is of 5 gb another disk which i have attached of 15 gb so this is basically one single disk one raw disk is there disk is is not at all formatted another thing you have not at all partition this disk so there are three phases of disk should be there this you need to understand uh, because see earlier i thought people will understand but they are not understanding how what and all stores should be there so first thing is that you are going to get the disk okay now the second thing is you have to partition the disk okay now the third thing is you have to format the disk so step one is you are going to get the raw disk like this any scsi disk or a sata disk or a nvd something you have seen different types of disk will be there again i'll be explaining that one okay so you are going to get a raw disk after once you get the raw disk this is basically you can tell the life cycle or this is the process only it should not be like directly you are getting a disk and you should be able to format the disk yes you can do it but the problem again if you have not formatted the disk just now sagar said you cannot use the disk efficiently getting my point guys so this is that reason whenever you are going to get a disk okay whenever you are going to get a disk that is dev slash sda you have to partition that disk into multiple partitions and after once you done the multiple partition you have to format the disk to use the disk correct these are the steps which you need to understand again first disk you are going to get you have to partition the disk why i am doing the partitioning of disk to use the disk efficiently if i have to use the disk then i have to format the disk with some kind of a file system and that is that file system are ext2 ext3 ext4 ext uh, xfs and zfs there are different types of file system is there now this step you need to understand please this is something which i have felt that people are facing problem with this part only they did not know okay what is raw disk abhishek so i i need to tell them okay if you go to cloud in cloud also you need to do the same way what do you think that in cloud we should not do it like this no in cloud also the same way guys see i have already spin up a jenkins server okay for somebody else okay you see here okay so this is from already it is up and running in the cloud in aws cloud guys okay fine so both the things i am comparing with you to make you understand okay if i run a da-h over here also so or ls okay blk command also so here also disk is there but only the naming convention is different guys xvda there what we are getting sda here what we are getting xvda and these are the different partitions over here and these partitions so if you think that directly i am getting a raw disk which i should not format and i can use it's not going to possible even if in cloud also you have to format disk right in case of block storage in object storage you cannot do it i am not taking you through that and all i don't want to make you confused okay so simple understand here so why we do partitioning 
to use the disk efficiently right this is why we do partition and if you want to use the disk okay so then you need to format the disk correct so in general if i have to tell you why have multiple partitions increased disk space efficiency you can format the partition with varying block sizes right depending on your uses if you if your data is in large number of small files less than 1 kb your partition uses 4 kb sized block so you are wasting almost 3 kb for every file so in general you waste an average one and half of a block for every file guys so matching block size to the average size of your file is important if you have many files if i read this one you guys will not understand okay so this is a definition basically why you use multiple disk now by understanding with this one you understand why we need multiple disk to use the disk efficiently simple and easy now listen see why i am taking this much time for this one because this is the only topic which is make which is going to make your foundation okay now fine so next thing is guys this part is coming disk partitioning criteria okay so whenever we are going to get a disk there are total five things are uh, sorry four uh, terminology is there which you need to remember okay one is your mbr let me write it down first uh, to use it efficient is a word okay because if you have to use something efficiently okay if i am giving a full uh, plane right and uh, you you can take any of the example normally if you take a train bogey also okay so if i am giving a full bogey without anything you cannot use it efficiently so if you have to accommodate 100 passengers right you have to put seats right correct so if you put those seats mm -hmm. then only you should be able to use efficiently that bogey subdish right so here you can see guys a disk partitioning criteria is basically uh, depend upon uh, four uh, you can say uh, terminology basically uh this is not a criteria okay a criteria is something different criteria i'll come to that part okay but uh, these are the you can say these are the terminology okay which you need to whenever you are going for a disk partitioning criteria so you have to keep it in your mind that there is something called master boot recorder okay this is also a uh, some size will be there okay and there is something called primary partition there is something called extended partition there is something called logical partition and there are some free space will be there so whenever you are going to make a partition of any of disk okay if you talk about this disk right uh, lxvda this is basically from the cloud and this is our virtual machine the other one okay this is our virtual machine which we are taking right so in this one MBR by default, okay. Every time, whenever you are going to get a disk, that is will be there. The first sector, or you can say this part is always reserved for the MBR, okay. So, and the main part is coming from here, okay. So, master boot recorder basically it's of 512 uh, bytes will be there. So, this is basically 512 bytes, it's very not so much of space will be there. So there will be always space reserved for master boot recorder which is of 512 bytes apart from that you are going to do the disk uh, partition basically so whenever you are going to do the disk partition there are total three to four criteria will be there so you see this one right so this is one this is two this is three okay and this is one entire primary is only there but in primary only we are doing another extended partitions and in extended partition basically we tell that this is a extended partition but in extended partition only there is something called logical partitions guys understanding my point guys so mbr is a master boot recorder okay so mbr you no need to worry about the mbr okay that again i'll be explaining in your uh, 
booting sequence basically but whenever you are going to do the partition disk partition criteria it's like this okay so first thing is four primary partition four primary partition okay i'm not giving okay uh, any size as of now okay all four i am going with primary partition for example let me copy any of this okay this is also a primary partition if i am telling p p and this is also p okay and this is your extended partition okay here I'll tell you, you will come to know this will become a cake walk after this. Okay. And this is some free space. Okay. Fine. So now understand whenever I am telling disk partition criteria, so in your mind it should come how many maximum primary partition you can do it. For a raw disk. Raw disk means what? This dev slash SDA. Correct. So if I am telling this is a disk. What is the disk? 100 GB. Okay. Now if I am telling you have to do the partition. Right. You have to do this partition. So if you have to do this partition. So in your mind. What is the disk partitioning criteria should come on? So the disk partitioning criteria should be like that. So minimum okay you need to do or there is a minimum or maximum you can tell like that all partition should be your primary partition okay all partition should be primary means four primary partitions you can go with you should not go with any extended partition you can do it like this now next combination is this okay you can go with Three primary, one extended. Three primary, one extended partition will be there. Okay. This is another criteria. Correct. Now the next criteria is two primary, one extended. Now the final criteria is one primary, one extended. Now understand. Okay. Whenever I am telling this is your DAW disk of 100 GB. Okay. So I am telling you go with primary partition and 100 GB allocate for this entire disk. So entire disk, it's going to be only P. Entire disk, it's going to be only P. Means there is no further partition you are doing. You are treating this entire disk as a primary disk. So just take care of yourself, your loved one, Baba and Jahin, guys.